All right, let's take a look at uh, reordering content. So I've got a database here of some raw files, no metadata in them. And the order in, in which they're scanned is the way that they appear. It's not necessarily any order that I may want to impose on them. So I'll go over to the spotting window where I've already created a folder. And you go into the edit menu, you say new folder. You hold down option, you give it a name my folder and then you can drag files into it or you can use the quick key T to put them in. I've created a folder called Z20 because these files all come from a project called Z320. And as you can see what I've done in here is I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. I've reorganized them by dragging them. Now, dragging them is pretty simple. Let's say I wanted these three cuts to come above this cut. I can just move them in the order that I want. So you have on the left, you have the order in which it's scanned. And inside my spawning panel, I have the same files, which I've dumped into a folder. And I've reorganized them in the order that I, that I want. And you can see there's a different track at the top than the than the one that's on the left. Now what I'm going to do here is select the folder and use the swap folder to browser view. Now the reason why I want to do that is because I want to impose some finishing metadata on, on there. So as you can see, now that I've swapped it over, you can see the same order has been imposed on what I'm looking at. Now this is just a temporary area. I've now suspended looking at the database as a whole. I'm only looking at the content of this folder ordered in the way that I want. The reason why I want to do that is because all the metadata functions are only available in the main app, not in the spotting folder. So what I'm going to do now is use workflows, which is the metadata editing content. I can actually close this if I want. I'm now in a spotting mode. You can see that my database is grayed out. I'm not looking at the entire database. And I'm going to bring up workflows. And here's where you can assign things. Like you can set a field to a certain and assign that to, to the field. These are widgets that you can place in place. Now I've got one that's already saved called my setup one. Now what it's done is it's set the field to the source the, all of, for all that it will be uh, selected. To Z320 with an underscore. And the reason why I put the underscore is I'm going to add a number in the second widget. So each one is going to append starting from 01 all the way up until it finishes, effectively embedding my order into it. While I'm here, I'm also going to set the category library, CD title, and composer field to these. So to do this, I select all, I run. And as you can see, metadata has now been added to it. And now I've imposed an order on everything. Now that I've imposed the order on it, I'm get, while it's selected, I'm going to embed all the selected records. You can either do it from right-clicking, like this, or you can do it from the database menu. OK, I've brought the spotting panel back here. Okay, now that I have them all embedded, I can swap back. Now, when I swap back, don't be afraid by the fact that they're all missing, right? You think that they're all missing. But again, what we're just doing is we're going back to the previous state, looking at the default order that's been imposed on them. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to rescan, that is, bring back the metadata that I just wanted, that I just embedded, I should say. So I'm going to rescan selected, and there's the metadata that I imposed. Now you'll see all the numbers are all off here, right? And that is because, here I'll close this, and that is because we're still looking at the order in which it's scanned. Now by imposing my source order here, clicking up here, this is ascending, descending, off. I'm going to impose the order created by the source. Now I have everything organized exactly as my spotting panel.